I am Stephanie and this is my son Leon. She is eight years old. We've just completed two and a half months of vision therapy uh, with Visualize Clinic. Um, actually, we brought Rian here because he was having um, a squint and he was uh, diagnosed with lazy eye in both eyes. And uh, we were not happy with the treatment plan by the other doctors. They believed that simply patching would do the, the, the job. And in patching, one has to be regular and still we were not satisfied that anything was improving in his vision. We were referred to Dr. Rajiv by uh, a colleague um, who would also had some vision therapy done for his child and we came here and we were given the diagnosis of vision therapy and after two and a half months his uh, vision has been restored. He was not, his 3D vision loss was there now that is back. He can read the smaller lines in the, in the vision charts and his handwriting and concentration has also somewhat improved. Uh, still, it's uh, an issue with children whether they want to work or not, but if you co focus on what actually the practicalities, so there is some improvement. So we are very happy and we suggest that if anyone has any doubts about the child's vision or uh, uh, any queries, then this is definitely the right place to come and get these doubts cleared and do the best for your child's eyes. Great, thank you. So, I mean, once you got to know about lazy eye, so what was it bothering you much? Is it just kind of glasses or the vision is impaired or is academics which may get hindered? Everything. But when one hears lazy eye, you assume that something is wrong with the structure of the eye. It means the eye is not performing as it should. So if his uh, potential for, well, suppose he wants to go in army or if he want, whatever he wants to achieve right. in life, right. if there is something with his eyes which is, it can be improved, then why right. should we not take the step to improve right. his eyes and his vision? Right. Like give him every opportunity that he should have. Whether he wears glasses or not, that's also up to him, but he should have the best. Right. Uh, did, did you notice any kind of change in, you know, if at all he does any kind of sports? And has it really, because, you know, if, if there is a lazy eye, so there's an issue with eye-hand coordination, and at times child is not able to perform well. Mm. Catching, I would say, has improved. Um, he never played cricket as such. Now he has an interest in the last three, four months. Um, otherwise, skating, karate, these things he was doing, he was managing quite well. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe I would say coordination has improved yeah. a little. And now in terms of catching and trying to catch things and overall movements, Movement. there is some improvement also. So any, any last piece of advice which people will be seeing this video? on the YouTube, so any piece of advice to the parents who has a child? Take every effort to uh, follow up on recommendations and uh, if anyone says to you what you are doing, why you are doing it, you are spending the money, it's just a waste of time, do not listen to them. Just try it and see the results for yourselves and you will have the physical results on the paper and in the child's eyes so you will come to know that you have done the right thing. Perfect. And uh, how long have you been doing patching for him? We patching was not regular, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. But even then, when we were doing regularly before we have come here, we were patching for at least six, seven months, and still there was no improvement. No improvement. So when there is no improvement in the in, in any kind of action which you are taking, then naturally you will seek another another way of doing things. Thank you so much. We hope that Riyadh does well and the purpose of this video is to create awareness that patching is not the only solution and there's a lot can be done which may be hindering your child's potential. Thank, so, you, so thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Riyadh. Thank you. Bye-bye.